There have been some requests asking for other languages like French accents for text-to-speech and voice cloning. This is Cookie or Cookie. Yes, Cookie TTS. A hugging face space where you can use different languages for text-to-speech. If you scroll down, there is a drop-down where you can select from different languages. I will select the French language. And for the reference audio, you can provide a voice you would want the output to sound like. I have this random voice sample of someone speaking French. Lingua.com. Compréhension écrite. Je m'appelle Jessica. Je m'appelle Jessica. Je... I'm going to drag and drop this to the reference audio and copy-paste some random text into Google Translate to get the French text. I will just use this top line as a test. Done. Now let's copy the translated French text and paste that into the prompt. Now we can scroll down and click the submit button. XT est un modèle de génération de voix qui vous permet de cloner des voix dans différentes langues en utilisant simplement un clip audio rapide de 6 secondes. Point point. There are lots of languages to choose from. You will just need to make sure the text you enter is in the corresponding language that you have selected. For example, if I were to try to use English text with the French language selection, thinking I will get a sentence spoken in English with the French accent, it won't work with this application. Later in this video, we will use Audio Web UI to accomplish this. Also, this demo page has a limit to the amount of text you can generate at once. If I were to double the French text and try again, it won't work. At some point, I would like to do an install of this cookie TTS so that we can generate however much text we want. For now, I wanted to show this option as available as a quick text-to-speech option. I will leave a link to this in the description. This is Audio Web UI. This is what we will use today to generate French accents and clone voices. I have done a video previously installing this and using the different functionalities. If you scroll down, you can find the requirements. You will need to install Python 3.10, Git, FFmpeg, and Visual Studio C++ build tools. Then you can click the automatic installer link to download the zip. Extract it somewhere and run the run batch file to install it. It will automatically create a Python virtual environment and install everything and then run the web server. Let's first check out Only Speak TTS, which we installed in a previous video. I have already created a French voice for this. It is basically a matter of creating a folder and placing voice samples of the voice. So I split the French audio sample into 10 second clips and place them in the voices folder for this voice. Réponse A. Seulement le français. Réponse B. Let's go ahead and launch the Only Speak TTS and give it a try with this French voice. I'm going to first copy-paste some random English text. The Docker repositories are not maintained by me. It has a little bit of a French accent, but mostly it is an American accent. Now let's try with some French text. Google Translate, copy and paste. Les referentials Docker ne sont pas guerres par moi. It is an American accent, so what we can do is use Only Speak TTS to generate some audio in the language we want and then use that as the input with the Audio Web UIRVC to apply an accent of our choice. This is the Audio Web UI application. I am using dark mode. That is for you. UOA plays. Let's first click on the model dropdown to select the bark model. We won't be using this TTS as part of our workflow, but I just wanted to show why. Bark is not a conventional text-to-speech model, but rather a generative model, so it has a tendency to be more random. I'm going to scroll through this list of voices and pick a version 2 French voice for this example.
and leave everything default and then scroll up and click generate. It sounds a bit muffled and seems to mix French in with English. Let's translate the text to French and try it with French text input. Les référentiels Docker ne sont pas gérés par moi. So that's how the Bark model sounds. Next, let's take a look at the workflow we can use to add an accent using the voice generated from only Speak TTS. In the RVC tab for the audio input, we can drop in the output generated by only Speak TTS. The Docker repositories are not maintained by me. Next, for the RVC model, I will select French. That is a voice I trained and cloned earlier. We will look at how to do that in a bit. For the pitch extraction, I'm going to uncheck the harvest and check the torch creep. I will leave everything else as default and scroll up and click generate. The Docker repositories are not maintained by me. Now it has a much more noticeable French accent. Next, let's use the French audio from Only Speak TTS as the input. Les referentials Docker ne sont pas guerres par moi. Les referentials Docker ne sont pas guerres par moi. And that is it. So the workflow would be create a voice with the words we want to speak. I use only speak TTS since it is fast and sounds good, and then take that output as the input to this RVC to apply the accent. Just for fun, let's try out one of the sample audios from Tortoise and see if I can use the voice I cloned of myself earlier to see how that sounds. The ballooning death toll has defied the hopes of many Americans. The ballooning death toll has defied the hoax of many Americans that the less severe Omicron variant would spare the country the pain of past waves. That's actually not too bad. Almost like a less energetic, less annoying version of me. Kind of like Eleven Labs version 2. Anyways, let's real quick take a look at how to train and clone a voice in this. Go to the train tab and click create. Enter a name. I'm going to enter French too. For the version and sample rate, currently V248K is not working and I have not tried either of the V11s. I have only used V240K. Now click Create Workspace. For the dataset path, specify the folder where you have your audio samples of the voice you want to train and clone. Réponse D, le français, l'italien. This is the folder with the 10 second voice samples of the French voice. Paste the path here and click resample and split dataset. It has finished processing the dataset. For the pitch extraction method, I'm going to uncheck harvest and check torch creep. Now click Extract Pitches. Once that finishes, click Create Index File. Now we can scroll to the top and click the Train tab. Here I'm going to scroll down and increase the batch size. The higher that is, the more of the GPU RAM is used. I'm going to increase it to 10. I'm going to leave everything else as default and then scroll down and click Train.
This section will show the status of the training. This will take a while. Once it has finished, it will say finished training saving. It never does say saved. I think that is a UI glitch. Now scroll up and refresh the base checkpoint dropdown and select one of the checkpoints. I'm going to select the last one. Now scroll back down and click copy to RVC models. Now we can go back to the RVC tab and we should see our new French 2 model available in the RVC model dropdown. Make sure to click this refresh button. Now let's test it out just like before. The ballooning death toll has defied the hopes. The ballooning death toll has defied the hopes of many Americans that the less severe Omicron variant would spare the country the pain of past waves. And there you have it. That is how I would go about training and cloning a voice to be able to add accents to it. You can use any voice as the input from a text-to-speech or any other source. I like using only Speak TTS since it is pretty fast and sounds pretty good. Anyways, that's all for today. Enjoy!